Good morning, my friends, and I welcome you to another video, fellow lovers of science fiction, Star Trek, Space 1999, whatever you're into, I'd like to show you guys another video. This is an, an anticipated package that arrived yesterday. Actually, um, I think more was along the lines of last week. Um, I had done a pre-order for the Space 1999, the Comlock and the Stun Gun. And I got this in the mail. Like I said, it was probably last week, but I've been busy with a lot of things. And this is very anticipated. This is Space 1999, so we're going to be doing Space 1999 items today. So let's take it over to the modeling desk, and I'll show you guys what's in the box. All right, let's open it up, because I'm not sure if this is the electronic one or the model kit, because I had gotten both of them. Look at this, guys. Oh, they did not tape it to the, to the box. Really? How ironic. In order to protect the box, they scotch taped the paper to it but anyway we got the electronic versions you can see the box is angled let's get the uh, shipping box out of the way is that everything in the box that's it oh look at this guys we got Barbara Bain Dr. Helena Russell and we've got Walter Koenig, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Walter Koenig is uh, Mr. Chekhov. We have Martin Landau as Commander Koenig. You can see we've got the Comlock. We've got the stun gun. This is so amazing. I feel like I'm a kid again. I had one of these, I actually had two of these from my childhood. And without, I ended up giving them to my kids because they like the colors. When you push the button, it was red, yellow, and green, and they would alternate flashing. And then on the top part was a was a flashlight. So I had given them to them, and they had played with them, and ended up getting just, you know, thrown out with the other old toys. But I wish I'd have kept it. But I got this one back. So I'm in a hurry to play with, uh, to show it to you guys. <laughs> on the side, you can see, you've got Commander Koenig. And you've got Alan. And again, you've got Alan and Commander Koenig in their sleepwear. A little bit more tape that's on the bottom. And you've got Commander Koenig again with Helena Russell. And I think that's Victor in the background. Or Alan. I think it's Alan. Moonbase Alpha, stun gun and comlock with lights and authentic sound effects. I like the way they angled the box, just like the logo. Stun gun with lights and authentic sound effects. We've got the Moonbase Alpha logo on the side of the box. Deluxe Space 1999 Collection. And on the back, you can see, this looks like the, um, the painting that they used for Commander Koenig on the model kit. I've got the model kit coming, so I'll show you guys um, a video on the model kit as well. And they used this photo 
as a, a model for the painting. And I don't think the painting flattered Commander Koenig, but we'll get to that when that comes in. You can see the Moonbase Alpha logo. Alpha Moonbase, stun gun and comm lock, featuring lights, uh, authentic lights and original sound effects, light up communication screen, stun and kill settings and sound effects, dual dialogue, um, actual dialogue from the classic TV series, one one screen, screen accurate replicas at one one scale, complete with collector display stands. So that's pretty cool. Again, you've got Alan, and you've got the eagle, and you've got another eagle. So this is 1612.com, and that's everything on the boxes, on the box. So let's go ahead, and we're going to open it up and show you guys this authentic, wonderful Star Trek uh, Space 1999 collectible. So it looks like the inside of the box is really cool. Let me see if I can get the display out for you. And we're going to put the, set the box up. Look how cool the background is. I love it. <clears throat> A communication station from Moonbase Alpha. So let's set that up over there. And as you can see, we got the stun gun and the com lock. We got the display stands. And it's in like a plastic tray. So there's, it does come with some paperwork. And I'll put up photographs of everything to document it for you. We got the stun gun instructions. Sound selection, you can put it to stun or kill. You can see by sliding it forward or back. Trigger sound activates. The on off power switch is on the handle. Gently squeeze the battery cover on either side to release clip pull forward. So it shows you the com lock, dialogue and audio button, sound effects, and the power switch. And is this everything or does this open up? Nope, that's everything. So, we got, these are really nice. We've got the display stand. I'm not sure if this is for the com lock or for the stun gun. Well, it doesn't matter because they're both the same. You can see that nice clear acrylic. So, without further ado, oh yeah, let's... I think the one from the childhood was a little bit bigger. I wonder if it comes with batteries. It's set to kill right now. Um, let's see, the on and off button is on the side. Oh, let's try to, let's see if the batteries are there. Gently squeeze the battery cover from either side to release the clips and pull forward. And it does not come with batteries. So these would be, um, they look like AAA. <clears throat> so we got the AAA. I like the Duracells. Funny how expensive this was, and it doesn't come with batteries. I'm used to the uh, 
the diamond select. Okay, so let's put this back in. Okay, so the handle clicks back on. So when you put it on, it doesn't make any sounds. Oh, we had it set to kill. Let's set it to stun. Let's try setting it to kill. You can see when you set it to kill, the two, to the top one and the bottom parts light up. And when you set it to stun, the middle two light up. And let's see. And that's basically it. These buttons don't do anything. And the buttons on the side don't do anything. So basically it's just, I'm, I think this is the safety. I'm not sure, but let's set it back to kill. done so this should bring you back to your childhood definitely this is exactly how I remember the one that I had I'm not sure the one I had from the 70s I'm not sure who made it I don't know if it was dinky toys or I know it wasn't playmates anyway I'll put it up on the screen but I had the box and everything but now I was able to replace that, and you can see this is the full-size replica stun gun from Space 1999. Now I wonder how this is going to go. Oh, you can see how it goes in the uh, stand. So that's pretty nice. So now let's take out the Comlock. And this is really nice. I feel like I'm on Moonbase Alpha. I love it. I never had the com lock. You can see we got Command and Koenig's identification. Command Center 201C83102. You can see the different scans, the chart. And you need this to get through the doors. You use the, this is a remote control for the doors. So this probably doesn't have batteries either. So we're gonna use our Star Trek, build the Enterprise D screwdriver. And this one takes three, so. Let's get, um, I hope it's still the double A. Yep. So we need three double A's. And again, as expensive as this set was, it doesn't come with batteries. So let's put the batteries in. I'm using Duracells. There we go. And the on button is going to be, it looks like the number nine. And let's see, with the sound effects. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, I love it. Isn't that awesome? I love it.
So it's when you push the two, you get the comlock signal and the, the projection, the image. And when you press one, you've got the red alert. We're picking up considerable magnetic activity inside Voyager One. Love it. And then when you push three, actually, it doesn't do anything. So you only push one and two. And I just put it off by accident. You push nine to put it on. Computer, close and lock main mission doors. Computer, command order. Pass safety restrictions on launch pad four and give me access. Eagle three and four, immediate liftoff. Eagle two, jettison your passenger modular, pick us up at launch pad one. Connor, what's the power situation? It's being restored now, sir. Medical to embarkation immediately. Connor, he's on board the standby Eagle using Carter's com lock. Stop him. Paul, Commander. Keep all Eagles in standby positions. Yes, sir. Paul, cut the power. Paul, red alert. Evacuate the technical section, seal it off, then open the cell to the surface. Simmons, we have you on visual. You can come out peaceably, or we'll come and take you out. Your choice. So there's quite a few sound effects on this. Computer, command order. Pass safety restrictions on launch pad 4 and give me access. Love it, and I love the screen, again. I get the com lock link, picture. And you got the side buttons. These are all just for show. And you've got the other side buttons. Again, they're just for show. We got Commander Koenig's identification. And let's see if the, the bottom part lights up that you... Nope, that's the speaker. Eagle 3 and 4, immediate liftoff. Eagle 2, jettison your passenger modular. Pick us up at launch pad 1. where the speaker is you can see the side it's got a clip for the belt and you've got the love it <laughs> I absolutely love this thing this thing is so cool. So let's see how this is going to go. There it is. It goes like that. So how how beautiful is this collection, huh? We've got the phaser, excuse me, we've got the stun gun with its own case. 
its own display stand. We can set stun, and we can set to kill, whichever you prefer. So I apologize, but I'm going to stun you guys. And we got to set to set the kill for demonstrative purposes only. And again, the on-off button is on the side. You push it, and then it's off. You don't have to hold it. You just push it once, and it goes back on. But if you got it set to kill, make sure the safety is on the real one. <laughs> And it's got a nice acrylic display stand. It stays in position right there. And I really love the com lock. I've never had one of these before. Well, I'm sure this blows away anything that they had when I was a kid. Um, I don't even know if they had a com lock, but I love the screen. Push two, you've got the com lock screen. Ceasefire. Recall all eagles. Commander Koenig, urgent, main mission. Commander, yes, sir. We're picking up considerable magnetic activity inside Voyager 1. Computer, close and lock main mission doors. So I love that it has different screens. That is so cool. Um, the model, I'm sure the model doesn't have the electronic part, but um, the model kit would be pretty cool. I'll show that to you. Um, the model kit won't live up to this. I'm almost, I, I almost wish that I would have got the model kit first <laughs> to show you guys um, before this came in, but this is just so cool. I love the, I love the effects. So again, when you push one, you have the sound effects, and you have the voices, and you got the red alert flash on the screen. Yes, Momentary drop in temperature recorded in all alpha sections. And when you push two, you've got the com lock screen. So that's when you want to open a door. So that, my friends, is the com lock, and it's got its own display stand, and the stun gun from Space 1999.
straight from Commander Koenig. He was nice enough to let us use his com lock ID. And again, this is looks like the painting that was used for the model kit. And you can see the uh, the belt where he's got the holster for the stun gun and the little clip where the com lock goes. Again, this is the moon the Alpha Moon Base stun gun and com lock set from Space 1999. And this was so, so much fun. I hope you guys had as much fun watching as I did showing it to you. And there's quite a bit of sound effects in on the uh, the com lock. Yes, Paul. Reconnaissance Eagle ready on pack four. So my friends, straight from Moonbase Alpha, I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, I hope you had as much fun watching as I did making it. Uh, this was so much fun. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I greatly appreciate it and I want to give a shout out to all you guys. Um, I love sharing my passion with you guys, whether it's science fiction. Um, we've got the Star Trek, the Space 1999, the uh, Battlestar Galactica. Um, we've got the, the history of the ships. I love ships, the ocean liners from the RMS Titanic. Um, I'll be doing um, um, a special on the Morrow Castle soon. Um, just all kinds of different things, and I love sharing my passions with you guys, and you guys are just wonderful. The subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate it all the feedback and all of the positive reinforcement. So again, this was the Comlock and the Stun Gun from Space 1999. And I'll show you guys the model kit of these two items as soon as I get it in. Thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you again really soon. Take care.